Welcome everyone, it's Gameful here. Today I have a different video. I'm gonna be explaining how to kill uh, Tarsus, the first modder. It's gonna be a no shell guide, no damage, or if you're struggling with the boss, uh, this is gonna help you out understanding the patterns and how you can bait the AI so you can attack uh, in save windows uh, without being hit. Um, if you wanna jump right into the video, just uh, jump into one minute. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, feel free to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if, you, if you're new to the channel. So uh, let's get into the boss fight. All right. So the first phase of uh, this boss fight is actually um, quite easy. You can bait uh, the AI of the boss fight um, in, I don't, this part right here is a part that you can only need to listen to the sound. You don't need to actually um, start looking for the boss anywhere. Just try to time the sound and just uh, dodge one at uh, once. Now, what I recommend, this is what I was telling you. Like This is one of the attacks where you can uh, take three hits and get away from the eyes, otherwise you will be just frozen and, and die. Um, and I don't recommend to lock on the boss, but if you're not comfortable doing that, it's just it's up to you. It's just so easy like to be away from the boss. It's two swings, two swings, and then a third swing, and there you go. That hammer attack, it's your save window. You can do uh, three hits there, even four, and then uh, pretty much bait the um, first boss um, face. First face. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing the rest of the uh, phase one here. Again, two swings, and then approach to the boss. If the boss steps back, just um, do the same thing. Then the hammer attack, and then that's your save window. You can go ahead and take um, four or three hits. If he starts doing the attack, uh, the ice attack, right after um, your save window, then you can actually uh, stagger the boss like I did, and then repeat. So that's what I'm pretty much doing. Baiting the AI into that hammer attack. Um, or that ice attack and getting away. So yeah, that's pretty much how you get uh, out of this uh, first phase. So I'm just gonna keep the video here rolling and then I'm gonna explain uh, some of the things that really change in the second phase and uh, some things that uh, I highly recommend to avoid being hit and, um, uh, and getting second phase uh, a bit easier because second phase is way harder than uh, first phase. First phase is just you know, this boss fight is uh, like a piece of cake on the first uh, phase, so you start thinking, yeah, second phase is gonna be that easy, and it's actually not that easy, especially for no shell. So, um, if you have your, your ability, I recommend to use it right there, um, when you see the, uh, the thrust attack, the long thrust attack. But this phase, I don't recommend to take like more than two hits, so let me explain what I'm doing here. So. I approach and not take any hits, I just wait for that same uh, trust attack so I can bait the, bait the boss into that trust attack to take my two hits and then get out. So right now I'm just, you know, running away from the boss because that ice attack, again, is pretty OP. It can, depending on the, on the attack, it can kill you. Again, I'm using the... Um, the weapon ability right there because it's a safe window and you can take two hits and, and retrieve but so here it comes this is a double trust you have to wait until um, the sword is uh, completely um, completely you know like like he stopped doing the attack for you to attack him again and as you can see I'm using a harden to get away because the hardest part of not being hit in the second phase is that this boss will do a counter attack sometimes look see I'm baiting right now again the trust attack I wasn't um, I'm baiting again right there that's the double one then I wait till, till the sword uh, attack ends and then I use harden and I retrieve why am I using a harden and retrieving because the boss will actually do a counter attack sometimes randomly that will hit you right away and it's so it's so fast that unless you're hardened like he will hit you anyway or unless you like attack and start spamming like dodge 
you may get out of there, but it's not that recommended. Um, again, I recommend not to lock on the boss. It's actually easier. Uh, it's not like you're gonna miss your um, your hits or anything. Like the window is uh, is huge. I'm I missed right there. Um, the animation, something happened there. I really don't know why it happened. Um, but again, see, I'm running away from the boss. One save window harden, and I get out. Like always, do that. If you don't do that, um, he he will sometimes counter attack you. See again, harden. That that's the attack right there. The one that I was telling you guys. Like he will do that sometimes. It's so annoying because if you get a hit on that combo, like it's it's done. Again, um, just no more than two hits. Get out. If uh, if he does the hammer attack and you have a window to uh, to to escape, this is pretty much um, the whole explanation of the boss fight. I'm pretty pretty sure I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. Um, it took me about two or three hours of testing a lot of strategies to get this boss fight no hit or to beat it um, in the easiest way that I could explain. Um, Again, this is, to me, by far the easiest way to beat this boss, especially for a no shell run, at least the, um, I would call it the, the way that it's the safest, you know, not being greedy. Remember that uh, greedy never gets pretty much, so you have to focus more on um, getting windows on any boss fight pretty much, save windows that you can attack and retrieve instead of just spamming and you know, using a Harden or whatever. Like, uh, you can use any of the shells. Um, if you use a heavy weapon instead of, um, uh, like, the sword, per se, you might be able to take one hit in, uh, instead. And if you're using the hammer and chisel, then maybe you can do three hits instead of two. Um, so this is the whole uh, explanation of this boss fight. Thank you guys for watching. And see you in the next one. What's our world? to believe our surroundings are immutable, even knowable. But nothing is certain within the sanctum of the revered. A curious blessing. My old kin do not shy away from these troubling inconsistencies. Instead, they welcome and embrace them. They worship at the feet of those rapturously twisted and reborn. So, calm yourself and take a sip.